there and welcome to PA Harness Week, another exciting edition of the best that harness racing has to offer. And we've got so much on our plate this week, it is just incredible. Hi, I'm Steve Ross, and my broadcast partner, as usual, is Heather Moffitt. And we'll have a look at today one of the jewels of the Triple Crown, Pacing's Triple Crown, and that is the Messenger Stakes from Yankas. We'll talk with Tim Tietrich, and we'll have a look at the progress and matron limbs, the big finals, which you'll see here next week on PA Harness Week. And we'll also have the best of Harris Chester and Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. And without any further ado, Heather's got the first one for you we're going to cover today. Go ahead, darling. I didn't realize we had so much to do today. Yeah, I better start. Okay, <laughs> here we go. If I Can Dream is your 2009 a Breeders Crown Champion. Also check out Straight Shooting and Entry with If I Can Dream. First time Yannick Jingra. I don't really know what that means, but we're going to find out here in a second. And uh, Clear Vision took almost a month off, but it's coming off a really good qualifier. Strong start from If I Can Dream between horses. Hypnotic Blue Chip showing speed. And on the inside, it's Fire in the Shark as they bank into the first turn and Campbell comes away with the lead with Hypnotic Blue Chip to face immediate pressure from the favorite If I Can Dream. Fire in the Shark is third. That it's a gap of two to Clear Vision, who's four and a half lengths from the lead. After that, it's Hailstorm. Three clear of straight shooting and slowest to commence was double shot of Scotch Tim Tetrick and If I can dream of come away with the lead. Hypnotic Blue Chip yields in second through an opening quarter in 27 and 4 as they face on the paddock turn the first time. Fire in the Shark and Bartlett travel in third. Mid pack for Dave Miller and Clear Vision. They're currently five lengths from the lead. Straight shootings on the move from sixth. And then Hail Storm and Double Shot of Scotch can see them all. That's the field of seven of the Messenger Stakes as they head to the half mile pole. And if I can dream at the head of affairs, letting it by two, Hypnotic Blue Chip has secured the pocket as Clear Vision comes first over at 13 to 1 through a half mile of 57 seconds flat. One lap to go in the messenger, and If I Can Dream is the target. Up to challenges Clear Vision on the outside. Hypnotic Blue Chip has lost a bit of ground in third. Straight Shooting is fourth on the outside, but five and a half lengths from his entry mate. Losing ground toward the inside is Fire and the Shark. They go down the back stretch. If I Can Dream getting tested tonight by Clear Vision as they go shoulder to shoulder. Hypnotic Blue Chip and Straight Shooting is now fourth. They check it at three quarters in one, twenty-four, and two, and they're on the final turn. And if I can dream in a fight here with clear vision, it's four lengths back to Hypnotic Blue Chip, who's been left behind, and then straight shooting. They're into the stretch, and if I can dream has turned away clear vision. If I can dream by two. If I can dream gets to the half in fifty-seven, which is like walking for these Pedestrian. guys. It's El Pedestrian. I was like, are you talking French? Okay, never mind. Okay, but then Clear Vision decides to come first up, gives him a run for his money. Um, but If I Can Dream says, you are dreaming. He ends up winning in 152-2 and two by three lengths with Tim Teacher driving. Second was Clear Vision, straight, sh straight shooting. Say that 800 times Not in a row. Not straight talking, <laughs> but straight shooting. He picked up third, and we got to talk with Tim Teacher earlier about this big messenger win. How good is the cult right now? Oh, he's definitely on his game, you know, and uh, he's done everything I've asked him to do. And he's, uh, I give credit to the trainer and the caretakers for keeping him as sharp as they have all year because he's won a lot of big dances already and been to a lot of different races. So it's, it's, it's an honor to get to drive the colt. And some of them have fallen up by the wayside, uh, but he's still a hard knocker, right? Yeah, every week he shows up. And, you know, there's been two times in the Confederation Cup and the Little Brown Jug where he had to go two heats in the same day. And, you know, every time he goes out there, he gives 120, and you got to race him hard. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, something pretty special for him to keep coming to the track every time as sharp as he has. They're going to bring him back next year? Nope. He's already uh, he's going to stud, I think, in New York, to Peretti Farms, I believe. And uh, he'll be, uh, be a daddy now. Thank you, Tim. And we're going to have more on our Around the Oval segment, uh, more action from Yonkers Raceway, so stay tuned for that, okay? Now let's go up to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs for their 10th race on Tuesday. It was a contentious $20,000 claimer. Linwood native and Anthony Napolitano was the 2-to-1 chalk, all because of this, and Jim Taggart Jr. was the 3-to-1 second choice, and Madi with Greg Grismore was the 9-to-2 third choice. Like how I said that? Oh, I loved it. Here's the call. <laughs> 
Good start in the center of the track there for Armbro Carruthers. All because of this right alongside him to his inside. And CBK Hanover rolling up out there. Three wide in the early going. Those three have really separated from the rest. Arizona Helen improves his position to fourth there. While Anvil, and you know it is back fifth. Followed by Mahdi. Linwood Native is seventh. And at the back in the early going, Life Z Tam. And don't fight the law of the trailer. Armbro Carruthers won that duel for the lead, produces a hot opening number of 26 and 2, and now all because of this, coming out to challenge. He's looking for two straight wins. He takes over the lead now with Jim Taggart Jr. Back to second, there is CBK Hanover off a win and moving up. Then Armbro Carruthers, a winner last time as well. He's third. And inside Arizona, Helen fourth. First over move begun by Mahdi, picking up that cover. Linwood Native, the 2 to 1 favorite off a third last time in this class is six. And Villain, you know it on the inside, seventh. Also the outside, Life C Tam and don't fight the law at the back. The half 55 and 2, 29 even the second panel. Up front here, all because of this with Jim Taggart Jr. leads it, tries to extend. Now he's out by about a length and a half. CBK Hanover fighting back there in the pocket. Mahdi first over, grinding away. Now begins to make up some ground. Inside fourth, Armbro Carruthers. Linwood native following the cover. Fifth is now about three and a half back. Inside sixth, Arizona Helen. Further back, Life C Tam, don't fight the law. And villain, you know it at the back. Three quarters, 120. Three and four, 28 and two, third panel. All because of this, holding sway now. Leads it by only three parts of a length. Mahdi continues to drive forward on the outside. CBK Hanover with the trip. And now coming from further back there, Life Z Tam into fourth. At the top of the stretch, all because of this with the lead, but all kinds of pressure now. CBK Hanover, Armbro Carruthers finding room deep on the inside. Armbro Carruthers, a 21 to one shot with Mike Simons driving. One by two and 152 and three. Life Z Tam, a 5 to 1 shot with Joe Pavia Jr., got the belly, and all because of this, who cut the mile, had to settle for third. Let's stay at Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs, and here is Friday's fifth with Bloodly Headband. Thank you very much. We have a $25,000 claimer here. Hit away is the favorite with driver Joe Pavia Jr., then we have Derek Bromack. That's actually the horse's name, not the driver. That's the one we um, could take it and get an <laughs> upset stomach, right? Derek Bromack? Bromo Seltzer? Come on, baby. Yeah, no, that's no? before my time or something. Okay, <laughs> he's won two out of his last three races, and then Matt Daltrey actually didn't even finish a race a couple starts ago, but he is coming off a really nice qualifier. Even start here on the inside. Donny Buck wants that early lead. Outside hit away, fighting for it as well. Moving up in between horses, Tyler's Echo now third, while Bob's Alibi settles inside fourth. And following that, a length and a quarterback is Ideal Shuttle. Then two lengths to Derek Bromack, moving up on the outside sixth, and Matt Daltrey, the early trailer. And hit away from the outside post, able to take the lead as they head around the quarter. 26 even, blistering early pace. Hit away, dropping down after a third place finish last time out. The 8-5 to five favorite has the lead. Coming out after him, Donny Buck. He doesn't like to be second, he likes to be on that engine, and he goes after the lead now. Hit away, back to second. Also moving on the outside, there is Tyler. Tyler's Echo inside fourth, Bob's Alibi. Second over, Derek Bromack looking for the bounce back tonight. Fifth, Ideal Shuttle moving up after an upset win is sixth. And at the back there, Matt Daltrey only about five and a half off the lead. The half 54 even, 28 even second panel. Eye-popping numbers being put up on the board here. Donny Buck leads them. And with a rush now on the outside, Derek Bromack sensing blood going after the lead. And he takes over now. Inside, Donny Buck trying to fight on. Inside third hit away gapped out there fourth was uh tyler's echo going by him three wide now a big move for matt daltrey moving into fifth they get to three quarters and one 22 and four 28 and four third panel and with that one big move Derek bromack now three and a half ahead of the rest matt daltrey moves into second donny buck nothing left on the inside moving up outside three wide ideal shuttle at the top of the stretch Derek bromack with the lead matt daltrey bearing down on him now it's Derek Bromack trying to hold out. Matt Daltrey keeps getting closer. Derek Bromack, Matt Daltrey trying to get there. Derek Bromack. Okay, well, all you guys out there watch that race. I just got a lesson on Bromo Seltzer. I need a there Bromo. My stomach's <laughs> all upset here.